Have you ever wondered, if God knows everything, why is it that we have to confess our sins? Let's talk about that. Hey guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me in what's going to be a two-part series on confession and repentance. This is the first part, so it will be, as you guessed it, on confession. So have you ever wondered, why exactly do I need to confess? I know the Bible says I'm supposed to confess my sins, but why do I have to confess my sins if God knows my sins? Right? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense because God knows all things, so God already knows my sin. God knew my sin before I committed my sin. So why is it that God wants me to confess that sin? And and I sort of think about it like this. Imagine apology. You're mad at your friend because your friend, you know, called you a jerk. Or, you know, some other worse name. But your friend called you a name, and that friend comes up to you and he says, Hey, I'm, I'm sorry for whatever you're mad about. Well, that... That wasn't very heartfelt. I didn't. I don't feel like you meant that at all because you don't even know why I'm mad. But imagine that friend comes up to you and he says, hey, hey, I'm really sorry I called you a jerk. I, you know I didn't mean it. You, you believe that, why? Because he knows what he did wrong. When we confess our sins, yes, God wants us to confess our sins. I believe individually he wants us to tell him the things we did wrong, not so that he could know, but so that we know what we are saying we're sorry for, right? Because it's very easy for us to bow down in prayer, God, I'm sorry, I committed a lot of sins today, please forgive them all. Well, that's all well and good, but I can guarantee you're gonna commit those sins again because it clearly did not bother you enough to go to God directly for it. That was not a heartfelt apology if you're just like, I'm sorry for whatever I did. That's not heartfelt, right? God wants you to feel it. God wants you to reflect on what you did so that tomorrow you can go out and correct it. Right? And see, there's, there's three types of confession in the New Testament. The first part is what we're talking about right now, is that we confess our sins to God. And it says in 1 John 1, 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So if we would confess our sins, if we would take our sins to God, I believe individually the best that we can remember and the things that are really on our heart, the things that the Holy Spirit are really speaking to us on, if we would confess those and say, listen, God, I know I messed up. I know I did this and I did that and I know it was wrong and I felt it and I know it. God, please forgive me for X, Y, and Z. God wants you to know the sins you've committed. Sure, he's gonna forgive them. Actually, it says that he has already forgiven you all your sins. But you still have to take those sins to Him and you have to confess them. That's the first type of confession is that we would confess our sins to God. Now the second part, you probably see come up even more in the New Testament is that we need to confess our sins to each other. So we need to confess our sins to you know, our spouse or our boyfriend or girlfriend or our friend or our parents or our siblings that we need to go to maybe a ministry leader. Maybe we need to go to someone that we highly respect or someone that we have done wrong and we actually confess our sins to them. Because God even says that don't come and offer sacrifices while your brother's mad at you. Actually go and make that right and then come offer sacrifices. In James 5.16, it says this, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Notice that. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. So if you've done someone wrong, if you've sinned against someone, yes, confess that sin to God, but also confess that sin to the other person and tell them you're sorry and ask for their forgiveness. Again, forgiveness is for you. Knowing that you have been forgiven will, will lift a load off of you that you probably didn't even know was there. You just knew there was something there. But when someone forgives you, you can just feel it inside. And the third type of confession, I believe, is the most important confession that we see in the New Testament is that, that we confess that Jesus is Lord. We read in 1 Timothy 2.19, Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm, sealed with this inscription, 
The Lord knows those who are His. Everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness. We see in you know Romans 10, the, the salvation verse, it says that we are to confess that Jesus is Lord. That we have to confess that Jesus is Lord. So we need to actually say, before any confession matters, we need to confess that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. That is a confession we must make, and I believe that is the most important confession we can ever make, is that Jesus is Lord. And maybe not just as a salvation prayer, but in every area of our life, we say Jesus is Lord over that. So if I'm sinning, Jesus is Lord. If I'm doing good things, Jesus is Lord. If I'm talking about my finances, Jesus is Lord. If I'm talking about my family, Jesus is Lord. Every area of my life, I've got to remember and I've got to confess with my mouth, believe in my heart that Jesus is Lord, meaning Jesus is master over my life and my living like Jesus is master over my life. I think that's what it means to confess. I don't believe that confession is talked about enough in evangelic Christian circles, right? I think it's one of those things we kind of hide and we say that, you know, we don't necessarily confess our sins to a priest. No, but we got to be confessing our sins to someone. We got to be confessing our sins to God and we got to be confessing our sins to each other. We do have to confess our sin. Confession is very much a part of the early church and it's a part of our church today. It's a part of who we are as Christians today. So I hope that helped you. I hope that blessed you. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I release content just like this every single week and a shorter one every single Tuesday. All right, love you guys. Keep living that bold life.